हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कॉप ट्वेंटी नाइन यू एन क्लाइमेट समिट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज The 29th Conference of the Parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change is set to take place from 11th November to 22nd November 2024 in Baku, Azerbaijan. It has been dubbed the Climate Finance COP for its central goal to agree on how much money should go each year to helping developing countries cope with climate related cost. Now let's discuss about the top agendas of COP29. Climate finance. The key agenda is the new collective quantified goal setting a new climate financing target after the current 100 billion dollars pledge ends. Wealthy nations struggle to meet this goal leading to mistrust among climate vulnerable countries. Fossil fuel transition. COP29 follows COP28's agreement to transition away from fossil fuels yet global fossil fuel use continues to rise while stronger commitments on fossil fuel reduction may be elusive countries will assess progress on preparing renewable energy capacity carbon market rules governments aim to establish rules for trading carbon credits derived from natural carbon sinks Key issues include transparency, evaluation standards and the conditions for revoking credits. Adaptation and loss of damage funding. Countries will review adaptation strategies for climate impacts and seek to finalize guidelines. Additionally, climate vulnerable nations will urge wealthier countries to contribute more to the fund for responding to loss and damage which has thus far mobilized about 660 million dollars. Now let's discuss what is the new collective quantified goal. The new collective quantified goal or NCQG is a key element of the Paris Agreement which was adopted in 2015 to strengthen the global response to the threat of climate change. Specifically the NCQG aims to set a new financial target for supporting developing countries in their climate actions. The NCQG is currently under negotiation and is expected to be finalized by 2025. Now why new collective quantified goal matters? Addressing climate finance gaps, fulfilling the emerging markets promise, enhancing global climate action, catalyzing private sector investment and encouraging accountability and transparency. Now moving on to role of India at COP29. India has emphasized that developed nations need to provide at least 1 trillion dollars annually for climate finance as stated in the G20 New Delhi declaration. India delegation to COP29 will be in full strength to negotiate on key issues such as climate finance, carbon markets and mitigation. India is taking the lead with many states and stakeholders actively participating in COP29. Assam in particular has joined the Global Race to Resilience initiative working to strengthen vulnerable communities through the Chief Minister's Climate Resilient Village Fellowship. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about COP29. One COP29 to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change is set to take place in Baku, Azerbaijan. To the state of Odisha participating in COP29 has joined the Global Race to Resilience initiative. Which of the statements given above are correct? One only to only both one and two or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications